today we know that this is not the case. Because the universe we inhabit does change with time, and as a matter of fact, it might have been most energetic and most creative billions and billions of years ago, and it's essentially now way past its prime time. And today, based on a lot of different evidence, we think that all of this began 13.8 billion years ago. And it all started with that famous Big Bang. And in short, there is a really important confirmation from many of these studies. The confirmation being that the star formation and the overall heat of the universe peaked a long time ago. And here we're talking about billions and billions of years. And so the galaxies today and all of the stars today can be essentially described as a kind of an afterglow following a very active formation period during the era referred to as the cosmic noon. Well, first of all, the analysis once again confirms that the universe had the most intense star formation era approximately 10 billion years ago. And so we are officially living in the aftermath. And so over the past 10 billion years of cosmic history, the overall temperature of galactic stardust and the overall star formation rate has been gradually slowing down. Average dust temperatures have been decreasing by about 10 Kelvin over the last 10 billion years. With this very small but very clear downward trend, hinting that the universe has been slowly becoming colder and way less active. But with time less and less such stars appeared, and the majority of stars were just kind of similar to our sun. Which means that the galaxies went through a major transition in the last 10 billion years. A transition that seems to confirm that the universe is aging and is transforming from being very active and very hot to barely active and much colder than before. And so according to the scientists behind the study, from now on the universe will most likely just get colder and colder, with most of the star formation and most of the galactic activity eventually disappearing. Or at least that's the overall prediction and conclusion from some of these recent studies. And we're now basically living through the end times. We're part of the aging cosmos, whose youthful star formation has been replaced by much calmer, older stars like our sun. 